Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen First of all, I would like to introduce myself My name is Mamoro Rafli Hadi Wijaya My NPM number is 03118068 And I am from 6th class So today, in this occasion, um, I'm making this video I would like to um, do a learning reflection about material that I have learned in language assessment course the material that I would like to do for the learning reflection is about the Gutman scale this is also in order to accomplish the last exam of language assessment course so before I do um, the learning reflection I would like to share um, the PowerPoint that I have made. Yeah. So because in conducting in conducting the learning reflection, uh, I would like to share the PowerPoint to support me in explaining the material. Um, all right. As you can see in the first slide um, of this PowerPoint. The title is about the Gutman scale because, um, like I have said before, I would like to do a learning reflection about Gutman scale. Okay, the next slide. Um, yeah, it is about um, what is it called? Um, the background about Gutman scale. Yeah. The Gutman scale was developed by Louis Gutman. Uh, Louis Gutman developed uh, this scale uh, to address the problems faced uh, by uh, Likert and Thurston. And then, um, according to Sukardi 2011, 149, uh, um, the basis of the fact uh, the Gutman scale is the basis of the fact is that several items under consideration must be proven by strong indication of one variable compared to other variables. Yeah. Um, uh, Gutman scale was also uh, is also called by scalogram or scale analysis the Gutman scale is a scale used to obtain answers from respondents that are clear or firm and consistent uh, the words used uh, for the answer are the contradictive uh, words for example yes no true uh, false positive, negative, sure, not sure, and so on. Uh, that is because those um, contradicting words are um, a clear answers and firm, of course. Um, the data obtained is in the form of interval data or ratio dichotomy. Uh, or two alternative choices on the Gutman scale only has two scores uh, for example a supportive edited or figures according to a question or statement is given a score of one and, uh, and an attitude that does not support a question or statement is given a score of zero so for example, if the answer is yes and no, for the yes, uh, it will be given a score of 1 and for no, the answer no um, is given a score of 0. Alright, uh, next slide is still about um, the background or the definition about a Gutman scale. Gutman scale is created with elements that can possibly be ordered in a hier 
hierarchical manner. Gutman scale is also uh, popular in social scaling application and also calculating organizational culture, education, or achievement evaluation in general. Um, in the principle, uh, the Gutman scale is to determine or is to determine if the figures or the attitudes under study really includes a single dimension. Um, okay, wait a minute. Um, um, yeah. Oh yeah. In addition, uh, the figures studied or the data studied are said to be single dimensional if they uh, produce a cumulative scale. Uh, for example, um, about cumulative scale. If a respondent agrees uh, to a question or, or to a statement item 2, um, then uh, the respondent, he or she, um, also agrees to the item 1. Uh, and then um, if the another, another example, if the respondent agrees to a question or statement item 3, he or she also uh, agrees to uh, the item one and two and so on. Alright, um, the next slide, um, yeah, the next slide is about the example of cumulative scale. Yeah, as I as I have said before, yeah, the respondent, uh, if he or she agrees to the statement two. He also agrees, he or she or also agrees to the statement 1 and so on until the statement number 5, statement 5. Alright, um, the next slide is about uh, the steps for making the Gutman scale. There are five steps in making the Gutman scale. The first one is um, Compose a number of statements that are relevant to the problem you want to investigate. Conduct preliminary research on a number of samples from the population to be investigated. The sample in investigated is a minimum of 50 samples. The third, the answers obtained are analyzed and the extreme answers are discarded. Extreme answers are answers that more than 80% of respondents agree or disagree with. Fourth, arrange the answer in the government's table. And the last, calculate the respondability. The repro. Uh, sorry. Calculate the reproducibility coefficient and the scalability coefficient. Okay, the next slide is about the ex uh, another example of Gutman scale. Yeah. Um, okay, a Gutman scale uh, can be made in uh, multiple choice or in checklist table, such as in this example in this slide. You can see, as you can see, the first example. Do you have identity card? And the answer is, uh, the answers are yes or no. For the yes, um, it will be given a score of one, and for the answer of no, will be given a score zero. And for the in the checklist table, uh, you can see please answer yes or no to the following questions. I like playing video games. Yes, checklist. In the form of yes or no. Alright, the next slide is about the strength and the weaknesses of Gutman scale. There's only one strength that I have found uh, from my references. Um, this scale, yeah, Gutman scale directly ask, asked to get clear and firm answers. And for the weaknesses, uh, there are two weaknesses. Um, the first one is Gutman scale may not be an effective basis either 
for measuring attitudes toward complex objects or for making prediction about the behavior of these objects. And the second weakness is, is once um, the scale um, may have a single dimension for one group but multiple dimension for another group or another group or one dimension for one time and multiple dimension for another time that is the weakness of Gatman scale okay this um, the last slide is about the example yeah um, this the statements is about the statements are about the student uh, interest there are uh, 10 statements that must be answered by yes or no all right um those are the um explanation by me about the Gatman scale um yeah um actually um Gatman scale yeah uh, is quite easy to under to be under uh, to understand here yeah. um so that's why i choose this um what is it uh, material to be uh, conducted in my learning reflection so um, uh, i think uh, that is enough for me yeah those are the explanation uh, for me uh, thank you Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.